Logic, as with all things, requires specificity. It's very easy to make a mistake because of imprecise language. One of these precise language tools is the distinction between necessary and sufficient conditions. In order to know for sure which one to use, we must understand what they mean. So, what does it mean for a proposition or factual statement to be necessary or sufficient? To help with this, I'll keep things example heavy. Everyone knows that all squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. Just by being a square, a shape gets a free ride to being a rectangle. This is because being a square is sufficient for being a rectangle. Not being a square, though, says nothing about if the shape is a rectangle. It might be, it might not be. Either could be true. Formally stated, if A is sufficient for B, then B is only required to be true if A is true. Necessity, on the other hand, is the mirrored version of sufficiency. Consider this example. In order to dance, you need to be moving. Because dancing can't happen without it, moving is necessary for dancing. Just because you're moving, though, doesn't mean you're dancing. To state this formally, if A is necessary for B, then B is only required to be false if A is false. They sound so similar in definition because swapping the order swaps the word. For instance, the statements being a rectangle is necessary for being a square and being a square is sufficient for being a rectangle say the same truth. The proper word is that the terms are duals of each other. If A is necessary and sufficient for B, then it is a logical implication. A shape being a triangle logically implies that it has three sides. If one is true, then the other must be true, and vice versa. Logical implication is also its own dual, as a shape having three sides logically implies that it's a triangle. The two propositions are considered equivalent. As a final example, I hope that my explanation was sufficient for you to understand how these two conditions work.